All right. All right. Welcome, everybody. Hopefully you're having a good Sunday morning. I guess it's now afternoon. Uh, I was going to do a live stream, but it was only going to be for about an hour. And I was like, you know what? A lot of people won't have time to catch that notification because I notice a lot of people pile in, you know, as they realize the stream's on. Um, and we were just going to do a quick analysis anyway because it is NFL Sunday. Um, so I was like, you know what? A static video will be quicker and more honestly more informational because, you know, everybody will have a chance to watch it. Um, but after the NFL games are over today, my Chiefs play at 3 o'clock. Um, we are going to have our normal stream today. Um, but it's kind of a nice day to chill, relax, um, because uh, the website's done. And we're really going to be focusing on the uh, the King's Night services this week. And really the biggest thing is, is live trading. So um, we're going to be back to our morning streams tomorrow. We're going to watch when Asia hands us. You know, we're going to watch the handover when we hand it to them tonight while we're live. And then, uh, you know, tomorrow morning, we'll get the other end of that when they give it back to us. So we're going to do a quick analysis on Bitcoin uh, so I can get, you know, to watch in the NFL games. And we'll live stream tonight. So looking at the daily here, you can kind of see we're building our next wave of bullish momentum. Uh, just because from a charting perspective, we are butting up against resistance. We're getting pretty close to it. Um, so we could be setting up for a possible lower high before we hit the resistance and drop. So you can see us building on the daily. We're building some more. I mean, we're actually we're not looking too bad here on the four hour, even though from our bigger anchor wave, we're still, you know, obviously we're making a lower high. Um, you know, you can see the money flow. We are increasing here in the red. You know, if we keep going down, you can see how it was much, you know, smaller on the higher time frames. But on the lower time frames, we are starting to creep, you know, in the selling momentum here. The money flow is definitely turning to the red. So that will be something to keep an eye on. Looking at the charts, uh, we've now, you have, this is the support area we've been talking about. Nothing much has changed. We're really going to be in a tight trading range. So this is actually a really good weekend. Just be able to t spend time with your family. And we're going to prepare for next week. So. There's going to be good support here from about 10,200 to 10,050. If you break this support box, the next area I'll be looking at is, um, now granted, I put emphasis on the top and the bottom of these boxes, but see this really thick green line here? If you put your Fibonacci retracement from a swing trading mode rather than the exact bottom to the exact top, uh, I believe it's your 618. Is it about 9,900? So we could be, we can maybe have a nice little bounce there. If we do break this, but the bottom of this box is about 9,750 to 9,008. That's going to be a prime area for a nice bounce. And then the top of this box, you can see all the touch points hovering off of this box, um, which that's it, 10,050. Your first area of resistance. Um, it, I mean, you're going to have a little bit of resistance here at about 10,400. Um, but more so, your resistance box doesn't really start until... You know, about 10,500, and then the top of this box at 10.6, which I want you to, if we go out here on the daily, something I want to show real quick. You know, how we're, you know, the, the short term indicators look like maybe we have a little bit more of a pump to go, but look how close we're getting to our, um, you know, not only the resistance box, but box, but look at this down sloping resistance line. So we could be setting up for maybe we have a nice little pump. And then we reject this box before going back down. And this yellow line is the date that futures, or I'm sorry, the back launches. So just be prepared for that. So you're going to have support at 10,200, 10,250. If you break that, I'm really going to be eyeing the 10,050, 9,900 range, which is this solid green line. And then, of course, if for some reason it got really bearish, you know, the bottom of this box, obviously, from 9,750 to 9,800. So those are your supports. Um, you're going to have a little bit of resistance here at 10.4, but it's mostly the 10,005 to 10,006 range is where your major resistance is going to be at. So we're going to have to go to Bybit. I haven't done the charts for ETH. Um, if you haven't noticed already, I highly recommend going to Bitstamp. They have the most information, and when you're doing technical analysis, the more information you have, 
the better your technical analysis is going to be. So we've broken. We're about at the top of this resistance box. We talked about it earlier this week that I said Ethereum, if Bitcoin stays bullish, Ethereum really had a lot of room to run because here on the daily, we were looking very nice. Uh, this is the play out we were watching. It's right here. See this like it didn't really form to be a trigger wave, but we did get a reaction off of this. Um, so Ethereum is still looking really nice. We've made a higher high, you know, compared to our other waves, but overall it's gonna be pretty hard to break this because I mean my gosh, you're above you're about <laughs> you're at a hundred on this right now. So we're gonna keep a close eye on this. Uh the one hour, now this is what I want to bring your attention to, just like Bitcoin. Granted, your money flow is in the red. I need to turn this to green. But nonetheless, we're butting up against resistance and we could be setting up for another lower high so maybe we get a little bit more of a pump and then we you know just like bitcoin you know as we're speculating to the downside doesn't mean we won't have a little bit more room to pump um but from a charting perspective ethereum looks really nice the bullish momentum has played out uh we just need to break above 190 dollars that is the top of this box right here it seems like you have flipped 185, which was the tough resistance we just had a hard time breaking. So we theoretically have switched this. So let's see if I can actually get this. I'm going to fix this box here. There we go. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a trend line. Dang it. I'm going to put our horizontal line here across. So 185 is your support now. We need to break above $190. And if we do that, I'm fully expecting, if we go over here, we will go up and test the 200 to 205 resistance. That's going to be pretty hard to break. Um, okay, I guess we're on the buy bit charts. but. Um, the 200 and 205 range, if we can break above 190 is the area I'm going to target. You're going to have a little bit of resistance here at like 195, but more so this really 200 to 205 range is going to be pretty tough to break. Now, what happens if we do? You can see here, uh, the top of this box, you're going to have pretty major resistance at 235, but I know this just because we traded this range weeks back. Let's get these lines I know 215, yeah, it's right in here. The 215 range will be the area that I will be looking at if we break above $205. And then you have your, once again, I just know these off the top of my head because we traded this range, um, which is going to be, so 215 and then 225. And then remember our old trade setup, if we can break and close above 235, I'm fully expecting a test. Of at least 250, but I'm fully I'm really expecting $260. So you break 235 and you can close a four hour above it. I really think Ethereum will test at least 250, but really that 260 to 265 range. So we're gonna be watching Ethereum like a hawk. Um so 190 is your next resistance. You have your major resistance box of 200 to 205 with your support at uh 185, 180, this box can honestly now just be, let's erase this right here. And then you have your bottom support box right here, which it starts at $180. So you have 180, 185 is support with your first area of resistance at 190, and then your 200 and 205. And it looks like we could be setting up for maybe a small little pump, but overall it looks like a lower high will be set in before we continue back down. Now let's end on XRP real quick. And just remember, guys, uh, once the Chiefs game's over tonight, I'm going to enjoy the, the NFL games today. I'm a huge NFL fan, um, but we will be live streaming tonight. I would imagine it'll be probably about 8 p.m. Eastern time, so about 6, 7 o'clock Central time. We will go live. Um, we're going to go live a tad bit early today just because it is Sunday. More people have the time off. Um, but like I said, I want to catch we're going to we're going to get it when we hand the market off to Asia tonight and then in the flip side 
we're going to be streaming early tomorrow morning so we can watch it when Asia hands us back the market. So right now on ETH, uh, XRP, you're trading just below 26 cents. Um, you're going to have resistance here. I mean, really, you can tell if I pull this over, we are still. XRP is just really struggling. Um, I'm not going to get bullish. I mean, really, for me right now, there's so much resistance on XRP. It's just I'm not trading it, to be, to, just to be perfectly honest and transparent with you guys. There's so much resistance here on XRP, and the selling pressure is amazing. But I want you to look at something. This is extremely bullish for XRP. You are showing multiple lower highs and bearish momentum, and your money flow is insanely in the red. So what does this mean? Well, when you see something like this on the daily and your money flow is this in the red, you can have a violent push to the upside. Extremely bullish, possibly. I mean, it'll be a quick jump. So I'm going to keep my eyes very peeled on XRP the next, you know, for the next week. If this plays out, you could have a very nice move on your hands. Uh, your money flows super in the red, so there's probably a lot of people shorting. The seller pressure, the seller pressure is pretty enormous, and uh, very nice. This could really have a nice run up. We go to the four hour though, and you can kind of see, um, maybe it's already starting to play out a, a little bit. We have a nice push. Right here on our current wave, and we're actually still rising. Um, you know, we're having a little bit of selling pressure here on the shorter time frames. You can see we we had such an enormous wave right here, and then you had falling momentum. The one hour's just really been calling everything on all the assets lately. So for me on XRP, we go out to the four hour. You're gonna have support here at about 25 cents. This is your further, you know, most far. Uh, I guess that's going to be your bottom support box. And then also, too, if we get our horizontal ray out. You're going to have support here at about 25 and a half cents. And then, honestly, the top of the, the bottom of this resistance box should now be support, which is at 26. So 25 and a half and 26 cents. No, are we not there yet? So it's just under 26 cents. So sorry about that. 25 and a half is going to be your next support box or your support area. And then literally, I mean, we're creeping just at it. It's like 25.8. This should be flipped as support now. So we're going to, you know, hope we'll get some action on this soon. And this actually can be pulled. And I'm going to delete this right here. So you have your bottom support from about 25 cents to about 25 and a quarter. And then you have your, your 25 and a half right here. Um, I, w I don't really want to call this support yet, but maybe this bottom resistance box that we're above now. Let's see if we can test it, which is at about 25.8. Let's see if we flip this to support now. But if you're looking for resistance, uh. I mean, really, this 27 cents, this 26 to 27 cent area is not going to be, that's really your short term. This information goes back from about the 19th of August. So, but I mean, guys, to be, uh, just to be honest with you guys, XRP is going to be a little bit harder to gauge because the resistance is going to be so insane. There's not enough information on the Bybit chart, but I just know this because I've, I've really been covering this for months. This 28 to 30 cent area was major support for a long time, and now we're below it. So even if you can break above, you know, 27 cents, I, I mean, the, the, for me personally, this is my strategy. I'm not going to really touch XRP until we break above 30 cents and we can close a daily above it. Yes, I'm going to be missing out on roughly 20% gains, but it's just not worth it in my opinion right now. Uh, now, if we can, if that daily can play out and we start getting some really good momentum, I might start getting curious once we break and close a daily over 28 cents. But for me, I'm not touching XRP right now. So you have support at 25 to 25 and a half cents. It looks like you're trying to form some here at about 28 and a half or 25 
uh, 25 8 and we'll see if we can play let's see if we flip that but for now you're gonna have resistance here at about 26 cents and I mean honestly about this 27 cent area right at the top of this box and then if you break above it maybe you have a little small gap up but this is where the really <laughs> it's gonna be pretty hard to break this just to be honest it's this box right in here 28 to 30 cents it will not be easy to break so um, you know this is a quick little static video over Bitcoin Ethereum and XRP uh, this is just you know for me with NFL being today we were only gonna stream for an hour in the morning uh, but you know this lets everybody get a quick analysis um, you know, because a lot of people are, you know, they're either, I don't think many people work on the weekends, but, uh, you know, spend time with your friends and family, enjoy, do what makes you happy. Um, so I'm going to get watching, I'm going to get to watching the NFL games today. Um, we're going to start streaming at about six, seven o'clock central time. We'll stream for about two, three hours, unless we catch volume, then, you know, there really won't be a time limit. Um, but just be prepared. You know, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff is finished this week. So. I'm sorry, we finished all last week. The website is live. So, but we are going to have a lot of streaming this week. I really want to focus on the King's Night services this week and uh, and live trading. And there will be a static video every single day posted on our channel for because I know a lot of people work during the week. So once again, guys, enjoy your Sunday. Do what makes you happy. I will see you here in a few hours. And go Chiefs. Thanks, everyone.